everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. I am here at SAY, which is the Stuttering Association for the Young. It's going to be an amazing event tonight. We're going to be talking to lots of celebrities and maybe even some of the kids. And it's just going to be absolutely awesome. Let's go check it out. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. And I am here with Evan Bell, who's one of the honorees tonight. And we're here at the amazing SAY event. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, so what is your favorite part about the SAY event? My favorite part is and always was watching the kids on stage and seeing them with their voice and they're high-fiving and they're hugging and they're kissing and they're dancing and they're speaking. So. Yes, definitely. Now you're one of the honorees tonight. Tell me about the award that you're getting. Um, I'm getting the Bud Mayer Award. Um, Bud, Bud Mayer's um, one of the kindest, gentlest, nurturing, menschy, generous men I've ever met. Yeah, definitely. Now what does this, what does this event mean to you tonight? Um, uh, it, it means kids who struggle finding their voice and realizing and understanding and accepting that they're different, but they're important and they can really change the world. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pavlina. The event with KT Sullivan and Steve Downing. How are you doing? Good, good. Yeah. Great to be here. What a good cause. I know. What does this event mean to you guys? Well, you know, um, Steve's brother, Robert Downing, has a table tonight. And we're, he's a great friend of Kelly O'Hara. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Kelly is from Oklahoma, where I'm from, and went to school at Oklahoma City University where my, with a good friend. Uh, her, she studied with a woman named Florence uh, Birdwell, who's my mother's best friend. Oh my my mother's here tonight. The uh, best teacher of singing <laughs> in the world. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's what they say. And she's also a teacher of Kristen Chenoweth and other great singers from Oklahoma. Yes. Oklahoma's not for this. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> uh, but we heard about this through Steve's brother, but also through someone named Karen Lottman, who's, yeah. whose husband was a stutterer. Yeah. And it's interesting about singing. When you sing, you don't stutter. You probably know, have heard about that. Right. And there was a great country singer named Mel Tillis. Remember Mel Tillis? He, he uh, didn't stutter when he sang. He was a stutter. Anyway, it's a fascinating concept. And we're interested. It's a great. Uh, now, what is S A Y? I forgot. Uh, it, means, see. it means Stutterers Association for, for Youth. Yes. The young, that's good. So okay. It's, it's, okay. It's about giving confidence to, yeah. to young people. Uh, to forget their need to stutter because it is a nervous reaction. At least I've always taken it as such. I heard that from my friend Karen Lottman, whose husband was a stutterer when she met him, and she married him. But she helped give him confidence to start for his stutter, and he went on to be a very successful businessman at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. I, so. I, I sort of stammered when I was young, and it was from lack of confidence and not finding my own gait, my own rhythms. I never did stutter, but I knew people who did, and I felt deeply sorry because they had so much to say, and it's so frustrating not to be able to say it. And here's an organization that is reaching out and, and telling young people that you're okay, you know, you're going to work your way through this, and giving them the confidence to do so. I like it. Yeah, that's that's amazing. This event is just awesome. It's beautiful. And I'm also excited. My mother's very excited. She, my mother's visiting from Oklahoma. She's very excited to meet Helen and Mirren. Oh, but yes, there must yes. be a connection with Helen and also with Kelly. I don't, I don't know the connections yet, but we're really interested in hearing about that. I know Jim yes. uh, and Greg Norton quite well, have for many years. And of course, knew uh, his mom as well. Pam, a wonderful lady we lost. But... Uh, we're delighted to be here. Yes, I know. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is great. I like thank your you. name, Pavlina. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Well. Hey, everyone. It's Pavlina from the Pavlina Show. I am here with Joe Moglia. How are you doing tonight? I'm great, thanks. I'm excited to be here. It's a nice night. I know. This is great. So you are a Wall Street CEO, uh, you know, football coach. So how did stuttering not affect your life and career? Well, when I was growing up, I stuttered, so in order for me to be able to coach football, which I did first, I had to be able to handle that. So at the time, my parents didn't understand that there was organizations like SAY or American Institute of Stuttering to be able to help you out. So I had to learn how to speak. So I spent a lot of time in front of a mirror, like literally enunciating my words and working on being able to bridge to another word, uh, my flexion of my voice. And if I didn't get that done, I would not have been able to to be effective as a coach or a, or a business person. Definitely. Now, it's so funny, when I was looking you up, I was like, oh my gosh, I live right next to Wall Street. This is, this is so cool. So actually, growing up, what kind of obstacles did you have and how did you overcome or deal with them with, with stuttering? I think, I think in the neighborhood we kind of grew up in, my brother stuttered and he stammered. So he would stutter. He would go bup, bup, bup. And I was so embarrassed to do that that I just wouldn't allow the words to come out of my mouth. So if I found I was going to go bup and I get the word out, I would just stop talking. So I would just keep my mouth shut. Well, that's difficult. That's difficult to be able to go through. So when you stutter, you don't really quite understand it. 
unless you study yourself. So it's automatic when somebody's going to make fun of you. They don't know that they're being mean and cruel. Like today, they may, may make fun of somebody's shirt, but that was the case then. And it's something you realize that you've got to be able to dress. I was a pretty good athlete that helped me make friends. Um, uh, but but at the end of the day, you really did have to learn how to be able to control the impediment that, that made it difficult for you. Yeah. What advice would you give to kids that are you know going through stuttering right now, and what would you tell them? I'd begin with, number one, you should, you should stand on your own two feet and take responsibility for yourself. So too many people in life have too many excuses. The weather's bad, the teacher doesn't like me, my mom's in a bad mood. There's too many excuses. Don't ever use your stuttering as an excuse. What is it you want to do with your life? You can do anything you want to, you do anything you want to at all. But in order to get there, you're going to have to work on your speech. You're going to have to work on controlling that. But have something to go after. Never use this as an excuse. In fact, use it as a chip on your shoulder to be able to work harder to get there. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. And I I am here with Lazarus Arbus. Hi. Hi. Yes, you're an American Idol finalist. How are you doing today? Good, you? I'm very good. Thank you. So, how did how has stuttering affected your life? You know, when I w was growing up, you just kind of began like five. So then, you know, whatever sense you, you, as I go, there, you, you got worse. Um, you know, so just, you, you know, it, 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 it's de de definitely a really, really, really road bump. You know, all that, you know, that we don't, we, we just can't, you know, that we just cannot let that, um, you know, dig. Guide the rest of our life. So, yeah, you know. No, I was told actually singing. Um, you don't stutter when you're singing. Yeah. Can you tell me about that and how that works and everything? We, I, I, people always yes, ask me that, and then I don't know how that works, you know. Um, yeah, I know that, you know, we, we, we kind of talk with another part of, of, of our mind and we uh, we actually perform with the right part of our, you know, mind. So um, that's all I kind of uh, no, yeah, yeah, about it. Um, but I don't want to look that much into 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 that part. Yeah, I, I just kind of want to enjoy the. If that God gave me, you and just, I'll go ahead, 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 you know? Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. like let yourself sing. You know what I mean? That works. So how was American Idol and how did your uh, stuttering kind of affect American Idol and your whole effect with that? Yeah, um, uh, yeah um, American and uh, uh, yeah, it was an amazing launch on launching pad that definitely gave me me lots of exposure. Yeah, and I love them because they, you know, they 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 kind of gave me the the opportunity to let my voice be. <laughs> Heard, yeah, and then I got to, um, you know, get, you know, um, let 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 the w w world know my, let let the w world know my 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 st 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 story. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from the Pavlina Show, and I am here with Rachel Drash. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So, first of all, you were in Sisters, and I interviewed Paula Pell, oh, yeah. and yeah, she was amazing. Oh my so. gosh, she's so funny, yes. Yeah. yeah. That was amazing. So, how was Sisters? I, I have to ask that really quick. The filming of it? Yes. Everything. Oh, it was really fun. Um, they built this giant house inside a warehouse, so it was oh the strangest God. set I've ever, and then they, you know, if you've seen Sisters, everything gets destroyed, and so yeah. it was like a Disney ride where, like, the pool imploded on these 
almost mechanical. I mean, it was the most amazing set. But um, but yeah, Paula is amazing. Like she she would just throw out these lines. You know, every take she'd give you a new joke. She's just a joke machine. She's so funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I know. She sang to me on my birthday and everything. It was great. Yeah, because that's when I interviewed. I was like, oh my birthday. It was so exciting. Yeah, she's very cool. Anyway, so how has like um, so stuttering is a big part of everyone's lives, and um, especially I know some actors that you know have a little bit of a stutter. What would you tell them um, to you know getting getting into the acting world? What would you tell them if they have that stutter? Uh, well, you know, I, I've never stuttered myself. I'm just here because I've I've done this event a bunch of times. I met Noah. Um, who who runs the whole organization? And so I just came once just to you know chip in or whatever. And um, you see these kids' stories and this camp that they go to. It's really great because oftentimes at school they feel really alone with their struggle, and then they go to a camp where everyone is in the same situation. And it's just really confidence building for them. So. Every time I go to this show, no matter how many times, I'm like, I, I know what this is all about. Every year, I'm like, <laughs> like, like, it's just so moving every year. Oh, yeah. Even I, even though I steal myself against it, it it'll get you every time. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show, and I am here with Academy Award winning and Tony winning actress, Helen Mirren. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's amazing. So you are the host for this event tonight. It's an amazing One event. Is with yes. Kelly O'Hara, yes. yes. Very yes. true. So what, what does this event really mean to you? Well, I came for the first time last year and I was so moved by it. You know, it is a three hanky yeah. sort of um, uh, uh, um, occasion. It's, it's very moving. It's very exciting. It's very emotional. Um, and I was just sort of blown away by it. So I, I was very happy to be able to come back this year. That's amazing. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're one of the hosts. I know a lot of people are really excited about that. So a lot of these kids are trying to find their own voices. And how did you find your voice, you know, through acting and everything like that? Well, yes, I, I, I guess through acting, I was, I was actually curiously very shy when I was young. So um, I didn't actually have a stutter or anything like that, but I was very, very shy. And I found it very difficult to make conversation with people. I couldn't think of what to say, basically. Um, so, you know, A, you find your voice through growing up, through practice as much as anything. And I think that's what's great about tonight is, is that these kids have the opportunity to literally stand on a stage with a microphone and speak to a large number of people in a theater you know and that's amazing to watch them step up to that and have find the courage to do it and then do it so beautifully you know and and it, it really it's always very very inspiring to see that yes now that's amazing and I know a lot of these kids it's like it's means a lot for them to definitely step up there and stuff that's that's crazy for them so what advice would you give them about because like this is all about you know giving them confidence and everything so what will what advice would you give them? Um, as performers tonight, it, you know, it's what directors always say, enjoy it, you know, if you can. But I said to them to, uh, tonight, you know, the audience out there are going to absolutely love you. They are just going to be loved. They're going to be so full of love and so full of support for you. Just enjoy it, you know, just, it doesn't really matter what you do. They will be so supportive of you and, and, and enjoy the moment. It's an amazing moment to be on stage in front of a lot of people. That's amazing. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. My pleasure.